What's up guys, my name is Akitos, I am the movie maker for NIP. Lately I've been getting a lot of uh, requests uh, regarding my config, my render settings, uh, my color correction, and how to actually capture your demos uh, and make them into a, to a video file. Nowadays most people are kind of lazy, they just uh, rip whatever stuff they want in their video from, from YouTube or Twitch or whatever, they don't actually do the, the process of loading a demo and capturing it uh, like your own way. Today I decided to make a, a tutorial about this and uh, the first uh, part of the tutorial will be how to load up your demo and capture it. That's it. Basic stuff. This is very like beginner friendly so uh, I'm gonna try to do it in a very slow process so you will understand. Let's get into it. The first, the first step is going to advancedfx.org download uh, Half-Life Advanced Effects. So you just go to the site, click download, and you download the latest version. Once you've done that and it, and it is installed, you click on this thing, and then you push File, Launch CSGO, and then you find your CSGO application. It's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Construct, Global Offensive. So once you have Half-Life Advanced Effects installed, you gotta make sure you have either Shadowplay or Fraps installed as well. Fraps and Shadowplay are softwares that that make it possible for you to record what's happening on the screen. Fraps is uh, the more stable one, I'd, I'd say. File size is a bit bigger, but the qual overall quality is much higher than Shadowplay. So I prefer to use Fraps, even though Shadowplay works just as fine, if you rather use that. But um, I've always used Fraps since uh, I started to make CSGO videos, and I feel that Fraps is the better option. There is another way to do it as well. It's uh, the way where you use Start Movie and you, you take print screens uh, in the decided FPS you want. So if you want a higher FPS than 240, I definitely suggest you do the Start Movie process. I'm way too lazy and it takes way too much of my time. So it's not possible for me to use that method. So I'm, I'm going with Fraps. So once you have Fraps installed and Half-Life Advanced Effects, you open up Fraps. This is it. And then you decide on a... Let's see here, Fraps. Let's make a new folder. Uh, let's call it Chris J. There we go. And then you have 60 FPS, full size enabled and then you have record Windows 7 sound even though I don't have Windows 7 but it's Windows sound <laughs> stereo and then uh, I suggest you have lock frame rate while recording so you get a stable FPS I found a FPL highlight on reddit the other day so that's the demo I'm gonna use I'm always putting my demos in my CSGO folder right here so there it is I have no idea why it's not a demo file there we go so, there, that's it. Now that we have a demo in the CSGO folder, we open up Half-Life Advanced Effects, and then we browse and find CSGO, launch, and Fraps is up and running, as you can see. We push Shift F2 to get the demo UI opened, and then we browse for our demo. There it is, opening. I've named this demo Chris J round 12, 1v5 clutch, so I know it's the 12th round where the action takes place. So we're just gonna jump to round 12. There we go. And now I'm gonna exec my config for Inferno. The next step right now is to search for the player ID of Chris J. So we're gonna Type this into the console. Merv underscore death message debug one. And then we play the demo again. I'm gonna record right now. Just what we're doing now is trying to figure out the the ID of Chris J. I will show you in a second. Alright, everyone is dead soon. There we go, one guy left. One. one. Oh, 
right. There we have it. The ID of Chris J is 222. So now we type merv underscore death message block 222. There we go. This makes the kill feed only show Chris J's kills. And to make it uh, have the red uh, red box around it, we do the same thing, but we type merv death, death message high light ID 222. So now, if we play the demo, it should be only Chris J showing up in the corner and it should have the red box. Yes, it works. It's a sick round. So, I just replayed the round. There's one more command we gotta use. And it's called Merv Death Message CFG. Notice Lifetime. And then. You type in a number, and the numbers are the seconds that the kill feed will be on the screen. So I'm gonna type 120, that's two minutes. It's a bit of an overkill, I suppose, but anyway. Now that I have all the info I need, I'm gonna play the round again from the beginning. Now I'm gonna type... Seal draw only death notices one. That makes everything else except for the kill feed disappear. And now... I'm gonna start the recording because I have. Oh, sorry. There we go. Lifetime 120. And here we go. It's recording. I do the recording at 25% demo speed to get a smoother picture or smoother video clip. This means I have the option to to play it in my. Um, my actual project at 25% speed and still have a stable FPS of 60. All right, now that you have recorded your uh, your files, you need to go into your editing software. I use Sony Vegas, and then you put your clips on the timeline. So that's the first one that has the in-game audio. So now you've got to sync the audio with this file. So as you can see, this file is much longer than the other one, because this is played at normal speed, just to capture the, uh, the in-game audio. Like that. So what you need to do now is find, find the place where uh, he's shooting. So I'm gonna put a marker right there. And now this file is at 25%, uh, so all you have to do now is go to properties and Change the playback rate to 4, so you get a, a shorter file. And now this is at the same speed as the other one with the in-game audio. You can also do it like this. Uh, shit. There we go. You can hold down control and then you can push the end and then you can just squeeze it together or whatever. Both ways work. Alright, so right here is the first kill, so we're gonna try to see if we can sync it with this one. Right there. So, one frame before, that's it. Next frame is that, yeah. Now, all we have to do is delete this file. Make a group out of these two, and this is your clip. This is your clip. That's it for this part of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. It's very simple. Once you do it a couple of times, it's gonna be a walk in the park. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found uh, the tutorial helpful, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.